Well, the moment I uploaded this particular artwork on my Instagram and on YouTube, I got so many personal messages asking that how this particular pattern was created. And um, well, after reading those, I realized that, you know, this is a moment where I should just create a tutorial because the kind of learning that I got, um, I should be able to share it with everyone. Well, of course, this is more about um, a trial and experiment and um, the, some of the uh, parameters that you play around with and you come across some of the beautiful designs, right? And uh, which is where I thought like, okay, let's give it a try and create the tutorial for that. So here we go. Well, this is one of the most simplest tutorial that you would actually come across and uh, you'd be like, oh, wow. Uh, by using some small, small chops, you can really create some engaging designs and art or digital abstract stuff, um, which you can share it on your social media. Well, before we move forward with the Touch Designer tutorial, I really like everyone to let you know about my channel, The Digital Abstracts. The moment you go to that channel, you'd see the links to my Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Um, you have got various videos here. This video gives you a complete understanding on how these patterns and how Touch Designer has been used to create such a beautiful uh, abstract art. Uh, please like, subscribe to my channel, and uh, that, will, that will be really appreciated. So the very first thing that we need to have in this particular design is the usage of ramp. Now you'd be wondering why ramps are being used. Well, ramp has got really, really good um, parameters, which actually helps you to create certain type of look. So you would be knowing that there is something called as phase, right? And uh, then there is something called as period. So these are the periods that we are going to use in order to create that particular design. All right, so when it comes to values, we will be making period as 0.1. So you can start saying that there are strips coming up and um, depending on what kind of color that we have been using, you can actually create the colorful strips. But at this point of time, we would like to keep it plain and simple, which is black and white and a little bit of gradient shade, right? Now, once this is done, so we will be using null. Now, what we would be using here is the mirror. So mirror actually allows us to do things in a most wonderful way. It has parameters of flip X and Y, it has pivot and it has a rotation. So all of these can literally help us to do things in a most wonderful way. Well, you may not see things in action at this point of time, but or a period of time when we move on, you'd actually see something really good coming up. And now what I'm going to do is I'll be using a tile. So a tile top, which can help us to create some sort of um, magic. So the one thing that you would realize that this tile has got many options for us. And definitely tile can be really, really creative. So let's, let's just go and change the ramp patterns. We change the ramp patterns from horizontal to circular. And you can say the tiles are giving some of the coolest design. So let's just go and put null here. And while putting null, let's turn on the display. Okay, one thing you must have realized that the photo looks very bloody. The reason being we did not set up the uh, resolution. So very first thing that you need to do is set up the resolution as 1024 by 1024. So you can see the picture has got uh, a little bit of sharpness and which is what we need when we want to upload the stuff on Instagram, right? Okay, so here we go. Now what I do, I enable the display of null and we can see some good patterns coming up. Now what we are trying to do is let's have this ramp and change this ramp from circular to vertical, or we can have it as horizontal. And now let's try and animate this face by using abs time dot seconds into 0.5. So by doing this, we get certain motion. Well, this motion seems very fast. Let's reduce it down by 0.1. 
So this looks very smooth and nice, right? What we do here is we take the advantage of mirror. Now we have a rotation here. Now let's have the rotation as 45 degree. By changing this, we start to see something really cool happening here, right? We also have an option of flip X and flip Y. So by changing these, we will be able to change the rotation and the movement of the bars happening around. We also have an option of changing rotation to the point that we like to. Now let's go and try something creative on tile. Let's use reflect and let's use reflect X and Y. So by having this, we can see some difference coming in, right? Now is the time for us to incorporate one more mirror. So let's go and get one more mirror here. So by adding one more mirror, we can have something more creative coming up. See, we have just added a mirror and there is nothing else. Now is the time to use rotation as a parameter and make it as 45 degree. By having 45 degree, you can see the change coming in. Now let's use flip X and let's use flip Y. There you go. So this is something that you start getting to see. Now you could be wondering, what is that we could do and try to create some, some sort of um, patterns that we were looking at earlier? Now is the time to add a little bit of transpose. So let's have transform top. Now transform top can actually help you to do a lot of good stuff. We have got properties like translate, rotate, scale, and crawl. But more importantly, for us, the most um, usable thing would be tile. And here we have to make it as a repeat or mirror, depending on what kind of configurations that we want to go with. So let's go and um, play around with rotation. So let's go with rotation as in 10. So we can see something started to happen, right? Now, what we could try and do is let's have the rotation as 45. Now you could see that there are some areas which are hollow, which are blank. Now you could be thinking why these areas are turning out to be blank. Well, the reason being here we have to use an extend parameter and this can be set to repeat or mirror. So let's go with repeat. And now you can see all the areas which were blank earlier has been filled up, right? Now we go with transport again. Uh, let's use the scale to see the changes in the design and the patterns, right? Now we use tile and use flip X and flip Y to see what changes we can get. Now let's try and use mirror rotation. And by doing rotation, you can see the change and coming up. So all of these patterns can just be created by simply making a couple of changes in the design that we talk about, right? So now let's make it as 90, right? And you can say the patterns is quite closer to what we wanted to go with. When it comes to the design, you still have a lot of different options to play around with. Now let's go to transform. Let's change the scale to 0.5. So we can see some different designs starting to come up. So at this point of time, this particular pattern can just be created by using only few elements that we are talking about. Let's have it as 45. And you can see some nice and beautiful patterns coming up. Let's reflect as Y. And let's reflect as Y. So you can see something more coming up. And this is much more better than um, what we had created initially. But yes, there is a lot that can be created here. And uh, the possibilities are endless. All you have to do is just keep on uh, playing around and find out the best possible combination, which can make it uh, nice and pleasing. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on Touch Designer by creating such kind of amazing patterns I really appreciate if you could like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is my Instagram profile. You can go and subscribe to it. You can follow me there. 
uh, you'd be you'd you'd come across a lot of new designs and creation that I've been making. And uh, I just wanted to let you know that you can follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on YouTube, and uh, yeah, that is it. Thank you so much. I'll come back with uh, next new tutorial. Thank you. Bye for now.